Hello, my beautiful friends. Today, we are talking Amazon products that I have with me on a daily basis. They don't leave my side, so of course that means they are carried with me. I have so many Amazon goodies that are shoved down in this bag that are just truly essential. And honestly, if I do carry a diaper bag, I don't carry a diaper bag as much anymore because my youngest son is approaching seven months old and I just feel like I kind of know his schedule. I just keep things in the car. It's not necessary. But if I do carry a diaper bag, these things all come out of my purse and go in there with me. That is how much I refuse to be without them. So everything I am talking about is gonna be numbered up on the screen and also linked in the description bar and the pinned comment below. And we will go ahead and get started with like truly an essential that I think everybody needs these days because phones die very quickly. But I, of course, am always on my phone. So I have this with me always. It is the iWalk portable charger. I have shared many portable chargers with you guys in my time here on YouTube but this is hands down one of my favorite because of this lovely screen on the back. It tells you how much battery is in this, like how much battery remains. And that is so important because I find that like sometimes having two lights means, you know, there's a decent amount of battery. Sometimes having two lights means that it's dying quickly. I'm just kind of over guessing how much battery the actual portable charger has. So this having a number that tells you what's left is really nice. It also has a little kickstand here so you can like put this on your desk. I will say though, if you're going to use it, it is easiest if you remove your phone from its case because this is magnetic. So that's what I mean when I say like a little kickstand, you can put this on your desk. Um, it's really nice, but it does not, at least with a little pop socket on it, it does not magnetize to my case. That's not to say if you have just like a plain case, it wouldn't work, but I like that this is magnetic. Um, there is another iWalk one that plugs into the bottom and I find that while I do like that one, it does have like lights on it that tell you how much charge it has left, but it is fairly bulky. So this is one of my faves that I always have with me. Now these specifically are essentials, but I'm going to go with this one being a mommy essential. This is Lysol to go. I never used to carry Lysol with me until I became a mom. You just get where you're going and spray all the germs down. I know some people, I see it on like TikTok and Instagram and they're like, well, I never wiped off germs and my kids are fine. That's cool, but I'm going to wipe off the germs. Like my children put their mouth on everything. So I, when we go to eat specifically, or even like the grocery cart, I will spray it down with Lysol first. So I carry one of these with me. I bought like a five pack of them. I keep that little Lysol to go everywhere. And then I have mentioned these hand sanitizers before to you guys, but this is hands down my favorite. It's the Glow Mist Revitalizing Hand Sanitizer. This one smells incredible. If you don't kind of get the gist of this hand sanitizer and you've seen it on TikTok, it's vegan, cruelty-free. It actually makes your hands softer. One of these bottles is going to last over 500 sprays. It makes your hands softer, which I think I already said, and it is actually safe for children. So I use this on my kids. It is very sleek and chic to be just a little hand sanitizer, but I always have it with me again. We don't like germs. I do always keep a brush just because, you know, brushed hair just looks best. So I have my little mini brush with me. That's, that's an essential, but kind of weird. I don't like brushing my hair in public. And then this bad boy. So I have mentioned this before as well. I love this because it cleans your glasses better than like any t-shirt could, but you have to be really careful. You guys don't necessarily, especially if you have reading glasses or prescription glasses of any kind, like you can really damage glasses if you use your t-shirt to clean them off. Um, so I really like this for like harder uh, little spots that are on my glasses. It just slides right down into my purse comes right out of this little case. There is actually, I believe, a little solution on the inside of this. Um, so it just makes your glasses crystal clear. It cleans them so quickly. And since I do have a child that always has those grubby little hands on my glasses, I like to keep that with me at all times. This is an essential if you are a working, specifically sales person and you go to meetings a lot. Whenever I was in design, I absolutely refused to leave my house without a lint roller. This you can just very easy pull the little sheet right off and you have a lint roller with you. You can make sure there's no animal hair on you. I just, it was always very much so key to look 
fully put together when I was going to meetings with our sales reps. And it has a little cover that goes over the top, but also there is this little part on the bottom that can kind of help scrape the hair or, you know, little things that just might be stuck on your sweater off as well. This is really nice, but I do use the side with the lit roller a lot more. Um, it does come with three additional rolls to it. And so you do have to store those somewhere separately. There is a little carrying case to this. There's a little handle to it. You can clip it to your keys, but personally, I just stick it right down in my bag because it is a fairly decent size, but that is just essential. Like I like to make sure there's no animal hair on me if possible. And I definitely used to do that a lot when I was going to meetings with sales reps. You want to make sure you look your best. I always keep my wallet with me and I really like this one from Amazon. It is very affordable. It has a little clip over the top. I did take them out, but in this one, I keep my um, driver's license, my main debit card that I share with my husband, and then my business debit card. When I open it up, I will keep any additional cards I have here and then my insurance cards over on this side. But I also keep this in the cash part of this because I don't want it to be outwardly obvious that I have one of these in here, although they do chime every time you really move. This actually holds an AirTag. So I got the AirTag off of Amazon and the little card too. It just holds it right in there and you can of course slide it down in here. But again, I'm trying to be like a little bit inconspicuous. And that way, if my wallet is ever stolen, lost, I sit it down somewhere and forget about it, I can track it. So I have the AirTag labeled as my wallet and I keep it full time in this wallet. It doesn't come out or fall out or anything, even though, you know, it's right here on the side, but I really do like this wallet so much. It has so many little places for your cards. Um, and then it also has a little change purse on the back. Really, if you guys are not using Apple AirTags, like I know some people don't like them because you can, um, I think anyone has access to them if they just look on like Find My is the app. I'm not 100% comfortable with like how they all work, but I do know that it's very nice to be able to track certain things. So if you've not yet jumped on the AirTag trend and you have an iPhone or your Apple products, definitely look into it. Now y'all know I love a good lip combo. So with me, I keep this tiny little mirror. This is really nice because it actually has an on off switch on the back. And when you open it up, it's very bright in here. So you can't see that there are lights on the bottom right now, but when you close it, the light goes off automatically. I do keep it off just so that if ever it opens up in my purse, there's no battery that's just running. There is a magnetized mirror on the top and the bottom mirror is just regular, but I like how compact this is. I mean, you can see like the size of my palm. This is a fairly small mirror and I feel like you can still kind of see what you're looking at. So I keep this with me all the time because y'all know how I am, like wear your seatbelt, wear your lip liner, wear lip product. If you have a full face of makeup on, you need to have lip product on. It just looks weird. It's like, I don't know. You just gotta have the lip product on. I do have another hand sanitizer. Now this isn't 100% necessary, but I do keep a little key fob with me. So I always have my fancy key fob cover. I will link this one below. It is for the Ford Expedition Max that I have. Um, it does have to match your car exactly. I've seen some people say, oh, they don't work, they don't work. And after I talk to them a little bit more, they're like, oh, well, I got one that looks similar to my keys. Or, you know, they said it was like this, but this, it has to be the exact like appearance of your key fob or it will not work. So even if there's one button different, you can't get it. So I had one for my Nissan Altima. I have one now for my Ford Expedition Max um, and I love them. This is another thing I always keep with me because it is just so nice, you never know. This holds your bag and I mean it can hold a heavy bag. I've used this for both a purse and diaper bag, mainly for if I go to the bathroom and you know, you're in like Walmart or something and they don't have a hook for your bag. I don't want to sit that thing on the ground. So I just pull this out and it holds so much and I really love it. I just keep it right down in my bag. So I never am without it. And then these two products right here, I always have with me because they are just essential for life in general. I keep nail clippers with me because I get really bad hangnails and I don't want to like pull at the skin. 
bobby pins and hair bows because you just, you know. Then I keep little tush wipes in here as well, just so that I always have them. But these containers are what I love the most. I'm gonna try and show them to you without things falling out. So you just kind of like push in and then you can pull the product out. Do be careful because if you push in even a little bit, the product's gonna open up and I did spill my bobby pins the other day. But I do like to keep these with me because I like to always have my tush wipes course. And then I like to just keep little cosmetic things like that. Now, some of these may not, honestly, let's, let's be real. A lot of these may not be essential, but I just like to have my stuff with me. And you'll know after I shared my car video that like I'm a little bit OCD. So just a little bit. I like to have these things because they just, it's nice to be able to put your lip product on no matter where you are. I had friends who, when I was growing up and the rule always stuck with me and I don't know why, but they said they believed it was like her and her mom. They said, if you go in a store for more than 10 minutes and you get back out to your car, you need to reapply your lip product. And I remember being like, that's such an interesting take and for some reason it always stuck with me and I have always done it. So I will have everything linked in the description bar below. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you're new here. Love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.